this is P and we're back. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all my latest unboxing and review videos. So it is November the 3rd, 2018, Saturday. And I'm reviewing some Jordans that I ordered from Nike um, last Saturday. And I'm just now getting a chance to unbox them and look at them for the first time in person. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get into this Jordan 11 Platinum Tint. And these actually um, retro for 220 bucks, And they're still available online now if you need to check out Nike and probably a lot of other uh, retailers online. And probably can go to your local store if one is close and pick this up. Especially if you're a fan of the 11 or you like this colorway. Um, a little backstory, I was actually um, in a rush when I made this last minute uh, purchase and had some issues with Nike. If you're using the app, you know what I'm talking about. So that created hype, like nothing's going to stop me from getting this freaking sneaker no matter what. And um, I went ahead and made the purchase and it said sold out and I'm like, oh, skip sold out that means it's hype i immediately go on like flight club stadium goods and they're selling for like 315 350 plus tax and i'm like i'm gonna flip these um to anybody who needed them if they wasn't able to get them but nike ran game a few hours later they're available and a week later they're still available in most sizes so i'm a fan of the jordan 11 and um i received this wednesday like i said but I did watch some videos and saw some footage and for 220 plus text the first thing that I noticed it had always came like this it wouldn't be any complaints but what's up with the Jordan 11 box true it sort of seems retro sort of but when you're getting a Jordan 11 which is the highest selling Jordan of all time. So you have the Jordan 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 11. And 11 is the highest selling Jordan of all time. 1995 release. Um, we're talking Space Jam. We're talking the Breads. We're talking the Concourse. Which I'm definitely going to try to snatch up um, personally. And I think they drop in December before the holiday season. And you get this box. Like, you want this slide out box. Like, what the freak is up with this box? I mean, it's clean, but if you're not accustomed to getting this for a Jordan 11, you want the true experience. Like, even with the win like 82s, the win like 96s for um, the 2018 holiday season. Comment below if you're filling this box for whatever reason. But for 220, I think this sneaker before seeing it in person this box it should be like 129 to 179 seriously in my opinion great bottom this is the first time i ever saw this kind of box um, you got the black lid with jordan um sort of like it's written on the um the part of the shoe like the front part the tongue in between the laces so Jordan with the red um, jump man in the middle. Comment below. Let me know if you like this box. I went true to size nine and a half retail two twenty. Our Jordan eleven retro platinum tint, university red, and the rest of the information right there. Nike Air on the side. OG treatment. And let's flip up the lid. White on the inside. I do smell some leather. Yeah. Got the plastic black wrap. Check out my expression. These are freaking clean. <laughs> I was going to hate on them a little bit. Um, but let me check them out thoroughly. They do have a little bit of weight to them. But the main difference in these and almost every Jordan 11 is what? For a million dollars, can you answer the question? A million points, rather. Where the freak is the patent leather? But in hand, these are sort of clean in my opinion. Be on the lookout, hopefully I can do a um, on foot 
of the Jordan the, um, 11 Platinum Tint. You have the icy outsole where you can see the red Jumpman on the bottom. The black carbon fiber shank plate, which is part of the 11 um, Silhouette Signature Lightweight. You have the milky ice on the outsole. The new buck feels okay. It's no like thick, long hair suede or medium hair where it's like any swoosh on it. But it's sort of clean. You have the mesh upper, a little bit of that uh, red hit going on the side, on both sides. Red embroidered Jumpman. The black up here. Black sock liner. And the Jordan Jumpman in red. It pops a little bit on the tongue, the mesh tongue. White rope laces. Let's see what's on the inside. If I can get this out, this is your shoe tree in red, plastic with the Jumpman. So this is signature having the plastic um, shoe tree inside of the Jordan 11. And the inside has a gold Jumpman, black inner. For a 1995 model, this is okay. I see a little imperfection right here on the toe box area. These are sort of clean, sort of clean. Comment below, tell me what you think. These are still sitting, the Jordan 11s. If anything, if these are still sitting, I'll say they should drop the price on Black Friday to maybe 179 due to the box. <laughs> and um, these should go. Cool Christmas gift. Say for instance, you put these in the stash just in case you can't get the Concord for yourself or for your um, child or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, your dad. I think they would be upset that you couldn't get the Concord. But if they're going back to school, work, or on campus, I think they'll still sort of be okay with having a Jordan 11 period. Especially if you don't live any there any local stores that sell Jordans. My opinion, these look way better in hand. If you have a lot of Jordan 11s with the patent leather, then you should be okay with switching it up with this new buck. I suggest that you get some type of suede or new, bu new buck protectant. I should have brought some in here uh, by Mint or uh, maybe like a Foot Locker brand or something like that just to preserve them and keep them clean. These are crisp. I'm already seeing you could wear these with black jeans, um, maybe some white jeans, maybe some off-white jeans, some sweats, some joggers. These should be good to go. I saw one um, person with these on. It was a teenager at the local YMCA and the other day. She like she was in middle school and she had a pair on that was clean. I saw other YouTubers with these on feet. And these are clean, in my opinion, um, with the pants. And in the summertime, this is probably a go of shorts. You just gotta be careful with this new buck material. Not the worst, like I was anticipating. I was like, freaking, I'm sending these back. I'm selling them. I'm not pressed. I don't know, it's like I pulled the trigger to cop these. Cause I saw some better pictures and I guess it was just an adrenaline rush. I'm sure a lot of people will have these on um, around the holidays or now it's a lot of homecomings for different um, universities or whatnot. These are okay, seriously. I will probably give these a 8.9 to a 9.2. Just because it's a Jordan 11, it's, it's clean. You might could, you know what? Red rope laces. <laughs> would make these pop comment below let me know i think that's the trick but this is the jordan 11 you all hope you enjoyed this video be on the lookout for the on feet next uh, from p the platinum tent jordan 11 for 2018 and yeah shout out to nike for hyping it up like they were sold 